I don't see much inclusion of persons living with disability. There was also promise about 50% um, um, involvement of uh, women in the appointments. I don't see that. And so my comment is uh, campaign promises have certainly been broken. There is a big disparities, especially on gender balance and the regional balance. But again, truth be said, the, His Excellency the President has nominated persons from communities that has never, ever gotten a nomination since Kenya got in its independence. From the list of principal secretaries nominated by the president on Tuesday, majority hail from two main communities that the president and his deputy belong to, with 13 of the nominees being women out of the 52 nominees. The cabinet has seven women out of 22 cabinet secretaries. Remind the, His Excellency the President that he made, uh, 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 he signed a charter with the women of Kenya. We saw it. And he had promised 50-50 in his appointments. The cabinet came, we are nowhere near the 50-50 mark. And now the PSS are there, we are nowhere near uh, the 50-50 mark. It's not about rewards. Leadership by reward is the wrong way to go about formation of government. What we need to see is meritocracy, professionalism, inclusivity, and statesmanship. However, a group of politicians and professionals from Luanyanza region who had fallen out with Azimio leader Raila Odinga after party nominations have come out to defend the appointments made by the president and especially those that were appointed from Luanyanza. We thank him for uh, the appointments that he's done before and the ones he's done now, including uh, our friend Mr. Machogu, who's uh, <coughs> the Minister for Education from Kisi, which are, who are our neighbors, uh, uh, Waziri Owalo, uh, our three PSS. In fact, we are not here just for the sake of coming. We came here because our people wanted a 